Check one two. Mic check one two one two. We're gonna give the live stream a little check. Well, we got 11 minutes here. We're in the old gym as the Round Valley Elks host the Marinci Wildcats. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thanks for joining us on Let's Go Elks. It was a late decision to get here tonight. We didn't have a chance to look at the schedule quick enough, but it's the season opener for the Round Valley Elks hosting the Marincy Wildcats. We got basketball in the old gym tonight. We are nine minutes away from tip-off for the Lady Elks varsity match. Hit that share button. Let your friends and family know where they can catch the action tonight. We're broadcasting live on YouTube at Let's Go Elks. If you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing. Help us grow the herd as we climb to 1,000 subscribers here on our YouTube channel. You're watching Let's Go Elks.
Number 12, M.K. Hunt with the shot that's missed. Marinci bringing the ball down here in the first quarter of play. Rebounded by number 10. Number 10 is going to go up. Still scoreless. Marinci recovers, takes it back out to the top. Medina with it. Hands off to number five. Pass to Leonard. Leonard goes up. First score on the board for the Wildcats. Ball in to Areola. Areola down the line, gets it to number 22. In the young, unable to hold on to it. Ball's loose. It's going to be Marinci ball.
I'm taking the scoreboard camera off there. I just noticed we got a scoreboard on both sides as we're down the court, so we're going to take it off. You should be able to see the score as we go. And once again, welcome to Let's Go Elks coverage of the Round Valley Elks hosting the Marinci Wildcats here in the old gym. Soderquist with the ball to the top to Ariola. MK with the ball now. Ariola with the shot, the three. It's going to be in and out. Wildcats recover the ball. 5 to 14. 14 Medina bringing the ball down for the Wildcats. Shots up by number 23, Cortez. Wildcats taking a lead, four to zero here in the dome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that all night here in the old gym. Round Valley scores, two to four now here in the first. Ball recovered by Soderquist. Looks like number 13 is gonna pick up the first foul of the game, Monteveros. Round Valley will bring it in. Logan to Soderquist, Soderquist up top with it. MK Hunt, quick pass to Emma Young. Kayla Logan with the shot. 14 now goes up with it. It's going to draw a foul. It appears to be Ariola's first for shooting two. Shot doesn't fall for Medina. 5.15 left in your first quarter. Medina's second shot in and out, no good. Soderquist is going to pick it up. Lady Oaks bringing the ball down just past half court. Ball stolen, picked off by number five, Leonard. Leonard unable to get it to drop. 23 with the rebound. 23, Cortez with the shot, makes it a 2 6 ball game. Quickly up, Emma Young. Emma Young with the pass. Shot is up. Kayla Logan's going to go to the line. Fans over here where I'm sitting a little bit excited about the lack of calls so far. The officials getting a baseline for what the rest of the night might be like. First shot does not fall for Logan. Logan spins the ball, shot up. Second one does not drop either. And the only trying to get the rebound, unable to do so behind Aguilar. Down the court we go. Ontiveros with the shot. Long shot doesn't fall. It's going to be round valley ball. Don't forget to hit that share button, people. Let your friends and family know that we are live. No notice, but we are live as the Round Valley Lady Elks host the Marinci Wildcats. Carry on the ball. Lady Elks will recover. Four and a half minutes left in the first. Drop us a comment. Let, let us know where you're watching the game. Amy Bigelow, you might be the farthest person away from the live stream right now, but let us know in the comments where's everybody watching from. inbound. Ariola with it from the free throw line takes one step to the side. Good for two. 
Brown Valley now trails by two. Pressure by the Lady Elks. Lindsay gets it across half court. Nice steal right there. Soderquist all alone, takes her time, ties the game up. Four minutes left in the first. Shots up by the Wildcats. Number 10, Aguilar gets it to drop. Lady Wildcats up by two. MK Hunt quick pass to Emma Young. Emma Young is going to get called by the travel. First time out of the ball game, three and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Your round Valley Lady Elks trailing by two against the Marinci Wildcats. We're here live in the old gym. This is memories right here. My mom was the cheer sponsor when I was a little kid, and I remember being in the gym watching all sorts of people play this game. We've got the Reigns family watching from Safford, Arizona. Thanks for joining us. Got family. My grandma lived in Safford for a long, long time. My family grew up in Duncan. Wildcats with a K, slightly different than the Wildcats we got on the court here tonight. And I myself was actually a Marinci Wildcat for just a couple years growing up, third to fifth grade. We were in Marinci. Here we are coming out of the timeout. Three and a half minutes left in the first. Substitutions for the Round Valley Elks. Number 32, Taylor Walker now into the game. She's going to take that shot. One-handed tying things up. 325 left in the first. Picked up by Round Valley. Unable to keep it. Ariola does keep it in play. Marinci recovers the ball, though. 14 with it. Number five, Ariola is going to pick up her second foul of the night. Inbound by Ontiveros. To the back half of the court by Cortez. Cortez quick pass off to Leonard. Leonard looking, trying to decide what to do with it. Pass out to the side. Cortez calling the play from the top to 14. Ontiveros with the shot off the top of the backboard. Round Valley picks up the ball, number 21 with it. Quick pass to Soderquist. Logan to Soderquist, good for two. Your Round Valley Lady Elks take the lead for the first time tonight. 10 to 8 here in the first quarter of play. Traveling call on Marinci. Leonard, Round Valley's going to pick it up on the side. Soderquist inbound. Logan is going to receive a foul. I believe that was number five, Leonard. Looks like fouls are three to three right now. Three team fouls for each team. Two and a half minutes left in the first quarter of play as your Lady Elks lead by a basket. Soderquist inbound to Walker. Walker tries a quick pass to MK. Doesn't get it to connect. Marinci is... I believe successfully going to bounce it off of Round Valley. Marinci able to get it off of a Round Valley player to keep it in for them. They will substitute in. I believe they're first of the night. Number 20, Roy Ball coming in for Leonard. 
Thanks for joining us here on the live stream tonight, guys. Keep hitting that share button. Let your friends and family know where we got it going. We got the Gallegos family watching from El Paso, Texas. I've been to El Paso, did some work there. It's been a number of years ago. If my dad had a microphone, he'd start singing a song about the town of El Paso. Walker into the game for the Round Valley Elks. To Soderquist. Soderquist packs it off the side. Walker gets it up for a shot that doesn't drop. Marinzi will get the rebound. Aguilar going to hang on to it for a second, slow things down. Cortez bringing the ball down now. Under two minutes of play here in the first. It's going to be a foul, I believe, on number 23, Cortez. Round Valley will have the ball. That is 23. Basket does not drop. Number 13 with it. Marinci with the push. They will call that out on the Lady Elks, I believe. Substitution coming in for the Lady Elks. MK Hunt leaving the game. Number 11 coming into the game. Jalen Wright for the Lady Elks. We are going to go to the foul line, shooting two. Walker picking up that foul. Doesn't agree with it. Number 10, Aguilar, headed to the line. Ruben Leonard watching, cheering for number five, Leonard. Thanks for joining us from the Valley. I always seem to bring it up when we're playing Marinci, but does anybody on the Marinci stream remember Cole's Pizza down in Clifton right by the river? Probably the best pizza I've ever eaten in my life. I just remember it being like Topping City, probably cheese for days, and they had NBA Jam in the arcade around the corner. It doesn't exist anymore. I think it actually fell in to the river. Shot will drop. Aguilar's first will drop. Lady Oaks trail by two. We are going to do a little bit of substituting. I'm not sure what the conversation is, but the foul shooter, Aguilar, now coming out of the game for number three for Chi. I believe it is medical, and I'm getting some confirmation on that as well. I think she might be bleeding, so shot will drop. I'm going to, want to keep things going. Number 30 trying to get the shot off, Riley Haas. Unable to do so. Number one also in the game. Tashina James. Shot by number 14 for the Mercy Wildcats. One minute left. Lady Oaks trail by three here in the first. Kinsley's cheering on Jalen Wright. Thanks for joining us, Kinsley, to the stream. Yes, Ruben remembers Cole's Pizza. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to be underneath. Walker to inbound. Up high. Round Valley does get the shot off. Nice drop by Jalen Wright for two points. Bringing the Lady Elks within one. 35 seconds left. In the first quarter of play, three point shot by number 20. Gets it to drop. Roy Ball with the three. No way, Celia, your husband's family owned Coles. We visited that place, I think, way too often when I lived in Marincy, not gonna lie. Walker coming back into the game for the Lady Elks. Four Haas, a knee brace for a knee brace situation as it was. Walker inbound. It is gonna 
Referee was going to call it off of Marinci. Changes his mind, so off of Round Valley. She must have dribbled it off of her foot. 23 with the ball. Cortez passed to number 20. Roy ball with another shot. Walker not wanting any of that business. Number 11 is going to push, and we're going to go to the line. Jalen Wright going to draw the foul. That's going to put Chi on the line. 7.2 seconds left in the first quarter. Huron Valley Lady Elks trailing by four. Does not fall. Score the same, 12-16. Three seconds. We're going to have no time for a shot. She is going to get a shot off a little bit short. At the end of the first quarter of play here in the old gym, Lady Elks 12, Marincy Wildcats 16. Thanks for joining us tonight, everybody that's found their way on the live stream. While we have a break in the action here, once again, hit that share button. And whether you're a Wildcat or an Elk, do us a favor and help us grow the herd just a little bit by hitting that subscribe button. If you want to know when we go live on your phone, you can ring the bell. Hitting the bell will send you a notification when we go live also, which is actually handy for me too because it reminds me that I need to go live as well while we're setting up. 40 seconds left in between quarters. Guys, we're looking to grow our advertising family as well. If you've got friends or family that would be interested in helping support our winter sports coverage of basketball and wrestling, Please reach out on our Facebook page, or you can shoot me a text. You can see that scrolling across the bottom, 928-251-0005. Help us bring the action to you. You're watching Let's Go Elks. Our amazing family of advertisers helps us grow new equipment, better equipment, sharper equipment, so that we can bring things to you as much as possible. Brandon, we will be doing the boys game as well. So stay right here. This will be the same link, the same stream, the same action right here. You're watching Let's Go Elks. Varsity basketball coverage tonight starting with the Lady Elks. They just finished their first quarter. They're currently down four. We'll come back with the varsity boys about 10 minutes after. Here we go. Inbound by Jaylen Wright. Right to James. James going up the middle. He's going to get the ball taken away from her, though. Royball with it. Royball dropped a three late in the first quarter. Hand clap to Medina. Number 10 heading in. It's going to stop. Number 10 is going to get called with a travel there. Bay watching the Wildcats from El Paso, Texas. Thanks for joining us on the live stream. We love having all sorts of family on the stream with us. Foul going to be picked up. Sixth team foul for the Lady Elks. We're in bonus territory on the next one. Mercy Wildcats to inbound the ball. Seven and a half minutes left. In the first, number 11 will come off the field. Jay Lynn Wright. Off the court, as it were. Again, don't expect me to get my brain to switch from football to basketball. It just doesn't happen. I can actually call traveling because that is a call in this sport, though. 720. Wildcats with the last touch. Lady Elks will bring the ball in. Lady Elks with the ball. Walk with a quick pass into Walker. Walker to Walker, doesn't get it to drop. Oz tries to get a hold of it. Roy ball on the breakaway. Walker puts the pressure on and stops it, though. Cortez with the ball now. Cortez with a nice little move. Good for two. A minute into the first quarter of play, the Lady Elks trail by six. Oz with the travel. Lawrence is going to pick up the ball with about six and a half minutes. Call it 640, actually. <laughs> On to 
Ontiveros with the ball for the Lady Wildcats. Ontiveros picks it back up after a deflection. She's going to go hard on the right side. Stops both feet, takes the shot, a little short. Marinci does pick up the rebound. Swinging it around. Aguilar too, does take the shot. Referees getting together right now to decide what's going on. You can scrub backwards just a little bit and find out. So a couple of things that could have got called right there. Possible traveling call. They are going to call the foul there. Marincy Wildcats going to pick it up underneath. I thought that was the seventh foul. I thought we were in one and one bonus, but I think they're just going to give the ball possibly a jump then. Walker double teamed, able to get the ball away to Logan. Logan bringing the ball down for the Lady Elk. Six minutes left in the second. Haas able to get it to, trying to get it to Logan, unable to do so. Cortez recovers for the Wildcats. Cortez to Medina. Cortez with the shot, nobody around. Good for two, five and a half minutes left. As the Lady Wildcats extend their lead just a little bit, we see a large substitution plan for the Lady Elks. Coach Tyson's gonna call a timeout. Five and a half minutes left. We're gonna hit the brakes for just a second. You're watching Let's Go Elks. Lady Oaks take the ball. After their timeout, five and a half minutes left in the half. Lady Oaks currently trailing by eight. Here in the season opener for your 21-22 basketball season. Welcome to winter sports, people. Jumper from the free throw line picks up her own rebound. Gonna pick up the foul. Around the line, Ariola goes to the line. That'll be the sixth team foul for Marinci. So the next foul, either way, takes it to the line one and one. Here's Ariola. Drains the first one. Ariola's second shot is up. Just like the first one brings the Elks within six. Quick movement by the Wildcats. Three passes to get it all the way down. Ariola hugs the official a little bit. Very quick passes for the Wildcats getting it down, trying to get the ball in, unable to do so with the deflection. Ball will go out of bounds. Marinci will recover, though, with the inbound right here. 520 left in the half. Nice move by number 23, Cortez, for two points there. 14 to 22, the score. Areola with the ball. Areola to Emma Young. Emma Young trying to get into the middle to MK. Cortez finds it, though. Marinci not on as aggressive of a runaway as the last one there. Areola stops the ball. Quickly stolen back by Cortez. I believe we are in a one-in-one -one situation. That should be the seventh team foul for Round Valley. Aguilar to the line. Hey, let us know. I got one JV score that I was aware of, and I'm not sure if it's the boys or the girls, but I see a Wildcat win 38-25 to for the JV. Not sure if that's the boys or the girls. If you know... Drop it in the comments. Let us know what else has been going on tonight. Don't forget to hit that share button. Wildcat fans, if anybody's on the Booster Club or has got the password to the Facebook page for the high school, jump on there and post the link. 
let Wildcats and everybody in Marincy know where they can watch the boys' varsity game after the girls here on Let's Go Elks. Cortez with a quick shot. Walker just going to get the rebound. Soderquist with it. Soderquist Areola. Snagged by Medina. Medina all alone. Layup unable to bring it down. They're going to give the ball to Marinci. 4 16 left in the half. Marinci to the inbound, deflected. MK, I don't even thought knew it was coming. She snagged the ball, though. Round Valley with it. Areola driving. Areola with the move goes up. Will she draw the shooting foul? I believe we're shooting two. Areola back to the line. Ariola two for two, nothing from net with her last two free throw attempts. Let's see if she can copy paste that action here with 408 left in the half. Yeah, if anybody has the girls JV score, let us know what that final was. I believe they were playing in the middle school gym. The boys JV score, we're being told, was a victory 38-25 to the Wildcats. See if we can get the other JV score for you. Second shot for Ana Ariola is up. Doesn't fall either, hits the rim, so the ball's live. Cortez with the rebound. Cortez probably with my favorite shoes that I've seen tonight. She's got two very different shoes tonight. Lady Oaks bringing the ball down. We're halfway through the second quarter. Areola to Soderquist. Soderquist to Walker. Areola from the side. Doesn't get it to drop. Cortez trying to keep it in play for the Wildcats. Does so. Quick pass to Aguilar. Right back to her. Medina with it now. Roundabout, or Marinci, not with a lot of substitutions. A lot of the original players in. I think we've only seen a swap of one player or so. Walker with the recovery. On Areola with the quarterback pass to Walker. I think Walker's going to get it back to Walker. Nope. Bounce off of her foot. We're going to call it jump ball. Jump ball will go to Marinci. 3-11 left in the half as the Lady Elks trail by eight. Substitution coming in. Logan coming into the game. A little bit of confusion there. Marinci on getting the ball back in play. Just over three minutes. Walker tries to get the ball. I believe it is going to be out on the Lady Elks. Marinci is going to have it on the side. 3.03 left in the half. That makes a lot of sense that her shoes are Space Jams. They absolutely look like Space Jams. I will say I like the first one better. I'm not going to lie. Maybe because it was my childhood, not my kids. But Marinci on a breakaway. Nice stop by Soderquist, though. Is going to shut down the breakaway. Marinci Wildcats will put the ball in from underneath. 2.43 left in the half. Marinci's going to stop it up. Soderquist back to Walker. Walker with a shot on the left side. Gets it to drop. It's within six. Lady Elks trailing 16-22 to here late in the second quarter. Medina drives the left side. Pass to Roy Ball. Roy Ball to Aguilar. Nice thought to the middle. Round Valley able to snag it, though. Here goes Logan. Logan with a nice touch. Brings the game now within four. 18-22 the score. Two minutes on the clock. You're watching Let's Go Elks coverage of Round Valley basketball as they host the Marinci Wildcats.
Timeout on the court, 145 left in the half as your Round Valley Elks bring the deficit to four points. Nice couple plays right there by the Lady Elks. 30 second timeout. People are taking a second, pumping the brakes, getting the breath, getting something to drink. I don't care which way you're going, if you travel down that way and have to go through Mule Creek on a bus, well, Mule Creek in any vehicle at all isn't fun at all. So that and the elevation difference can definitely wear on some teams as they come up this way. Games within four, 145 left in the half. Guys, don't forget during halftime, hit that share button, jump on the social media, let your friends and family know where they can be watching the game here at Let's Go Elks. We're streaming tonight just on the YouTube platform. Shared it out on the Facebook page. Ground Valley's ball over on the side, 136. If you enjoy what you're watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Help us grow the herd on our YouTube platform. We're climbing to 1,000 subscribers. That's our next goal. It unlocks a few more tools for us. Soda Chris with a shot in and out. So when there is a break in the action, rotate that phone, hit that subscribe button, jump on your computer, whatever it takes. Hit that red button, ring the bell. Aguilar with the shot, unable to bring it down. Marinci with the offensive rebound, though. Cortez back. No look past the 13. 13 with a high shot up off the backboard. It's going to be Round Valley's ball, 112. Left and a half. If you're looking for a new and a fun way to promote your business online through social media and live stream productions, Let's Go Elks is looking for you. Let us help you grow your business. Become part of our advertising family here at Let's Go Elks. Help us bring the action to you. You help us keep things rolling. You help us buy those data plans. You help us pay the camera crew. Let's Go Elks is working to help educate the next generation of live stream production. By bringing middle and high school kids into the production platform right now, your cameraman tonight, a Round Valley Middle School student, Rustin, bringing the action tonight. So once again, if you want to grow your business in a new and fun way and support Let's Go Elks, reach out to us on Facebook or at our phone number. We'll have a chat. Shot drops by Ariola, bringing the game within two. Just under one minute to play. The clock runs. Medina with the ball. Gets the pass from Ontiveros back to Ontiveros. Going to take a shot inside the three-point line. Bounces off the rim. Cortez trying to bring it down. Are they going to call that jump ball? I believe that's going to be a jump. Round Valley will pick up the ball there. 37 seconds as Round Valley looking to tie things up as we go into halftime. Ariola out to Soto, goes back to Ariola for the three. Jalen Wright's going to draw the foul there, I believe, as we go to the line on the Morinci side of things. 25.2 seconds left in the half. I'm not sure how many fouls that is for Wright, but I believe it's at least a couple. Sorry, I don't have my stat sheets, and it's just me pushing too many buttons. Right, try to keep stats and be a little better for you. Hey, our cameraman just realized the action's on the other side of the court. Let's see if those LeBron Space Jams do it. One and one's going to be in and out. It's going to be out on Marinci. Round Valley with the ball, 25.2 seconds. Left in the half. Round Valley again with an opportunity right here to tie things up as they look to go to the locker room. With a fresh second half from a score perspective. Ariola out to Walker. Walker look into the middle. Not seeing something she likes. Ariola's going to pick that ball back up. So with another foul, we should go to the line. Ariola back to the line. Ariola shooting well from the free throws this evening. 
I don't think Coach Teisling minds if she draws another foul. We'll see if Marinci adjusts in the second half on that. Ariola's made four of six that I've seen. There may be more, and also my brain's not working right. On Ariola with the shot, 10.4 seconds. Does not drop. We're going to shoot it again, I believe I heard the officials say. One of the Wildcats crossed the line. I believe number three the official is pointing to. We're going to switch sides real quick. Cortez wants to line up with Walker. Ariola is going to get a second chance on that one to bring the game within one with the shot. One and one. We are going to be within one now. She should get her second shot. That was only the first shot. Official getting things lined out. Everybody a little discombobulated. First game jitters. Ariola's chance right here to bring it to a tie ball game. Nine seconds left in the first half. You're watching Let's Go Oaks. We got a tie ball game. Marinci's not wanting any of that. I think they're going to try in the next nine seconds. Number 20, Roy Ball. Roy Ball trying to drive in. Shot, I believe, is late. We're going into halftime with a tie ball game. Your Lady Elks 22. Marinci Wildcats 22. Guys, I think we got 10 minutes on the clock. We'll be right back. You're watching Let's Go Elks.
And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. It's a tie ball game. It's a jump ball. Randall he takes the ball underneath, calling the play. The Oaks from underneath once again, seven and a half minutes. Logan with it. Logan's got the shot. I believe I saw him say white. We should be underneath again for Round Valley. 22 22, still the score. Here in the old high school gym. Soderquist with the inbound to Young. Young able to hang on to it. Logan, quick pass underneath to MK. MK with the shot, doesn't fall. Marinci recovers. Medina with it, number 14. Cortez, Cortez with it, runs around. Doesn't get the shot to fall. MK Hunt with the rebound. Ball to Areola. Areola with the night shot, gets it to drop. Lady Elks ahead by two points. MK Hunt, ball deflected. Logan able to get it though. Ariola bringing the ball down for the Lady Elks. Ariola calls the play, takes the shot from the top of the key. Doesn't get it to drop. MK with the follow through. We're going to the line. Almost an and one situation for the Lady Elks. If Hunt could have got that one to drop, but we're gonna shoot two from the line. Fouls reset for the second half. Logan picks up the rebound. Hunt back with it again. Hunt going to get called for the traveling. Marinci with the ball. Not that I'm sure they don't like hanging out here, but I think the officials for the boys game may be Paul Hancock and Quinn Ashton. See them over there enjoying the second half of this ball game. Ontiveros still with the ball, trying to make something happen. Marinci turns it over to the Lady Elks. Lady Elks are going to take it on the side here. 6.08 left in the third quarter of play. MK Hunt gets it to drop right there. Nice little inbound play for the Elks as the Lady Elks lead by five here in the third. Soderquist be the first team foul for the Lady Elks. Sends Medina to the line. Second one will drop, making it a four point ball game. Five and a half minutes left in the third. Round Valley with a quick inbound. Logan with it.
Dariola, Ariola behind the back, past the free throw line. It's going to be a foul called on the ground by number 20. Roy Ball is going to receive a penalty there, and I believe it was on the ground, so we'll inbound from underneath. Substitution for Roy Ball. Here we go. Round Valley Lady Elks bring it in. Logan thinks about the three-pointer, doesn't take it. MK underneath for two. Another two-pointer for MK Hunt. At least four points for her on the night, making it a six-point lead for the Lady Elks. Out to 13, Ontiveros going to drive all the way in. She will draw a foul. We're going to shoot two. Substitutions coming in for the Round Valley Elks. Walker and Walker coming in for Ariola and Emma Young. MK with the rebound. MK is going to get it to Soderquist. Soderquist bringing the ball down. Looking aggressively to Logan. I think she was actually trying to pass it to Walker. Logan snuck in there all crazy like. Soderquist inbounding the ball to Logan. Logan out to Walker. Walker with the three. She's available. It's short. Marinci trying to slow things down. Medina with the hand clap signaling she wants the ball. Four and a half minutes left in the third. Ontiveros going to drive hard left side with the left hand. Shoots with the right. Walker picks up the rebound. Quick pass to Logan. Logan finds Medina. Medina's going to draw a foul. Soderquist the inbound for the Lady Elks. Logan gets the inbound, finds MK Hunt. MK unable to make the connection. Marinci ball. Leonard up top to Aguilar. Aguilar swings it around to Cortez. Cortez drives to the left side, left-handed, takes a shot right-handed, short. MK with the rebound, rebound. Quick pass to Logan. Logan's going to slow things down, though. Let things get set up for the Lady Elks. 5.50 left in the third quarter. Walker is going to travel. Medina bringing the ball down for the Wildcats. Less than four minutes left in the ball game. In the third quarter. Wow, not the ball game. Lady Elks ahead by six. Sorry, I was just starting to think about the boys' varsity game. So in my brain, I think it thought the game was already over. I believe that's going to be Marinci's ball underneath. Sorry, it's just one microphone and one man on the mic tonight. A lot of, not a lot of banter and back and forth. You just get stuck with me. So hit that chat room. Send me some things. We've got a lot of Marinci Wildcat fans watching tonight. What Round Valley Elks do we have with us in the herd tonight? Walker's going to get it. Walker to Walker with the quarterback pass to Logan for two. Lady Elks are going to extend that lead to eight points. And I think the Wildcats... May hit the pause button. Timeout on the court. Not sure if it's a full or a 30 second. We're going to take a peek right now. It is a full one minute timeout. So we're going to pump the brakes here in the third quarter as the Round Valley Elks extend their lead to eight points here in the high school gym. A lot of memories, a lot of excitement right in here. Stay with us. 
We'll have the boys' varsity game right after the girls' varsity game. Probably a 10-minute break as the boys warm up. Then we'll be right back with the action for the boys. This is your Let's Go Elks coverage of Round Valley basketball. As we open the season here in the gym, the Round Valley Elks hosting the Marinci Wildcats. Here on a Wednesday night, I think that's always the hardest adjustment for me. As we go from Friday night lights to who knows what day of the week we're playing basketball, it's all over the place. Wildcats will inbound the ball with just under three and a half minutes left in the third. Here we go. Student section behind the Elks getting a little crazy tonight. I saw a post. I think it was supposed to be like Santa suit, hat, and crazy night. They're doing themes for the home game student section. Trying to get some excitement going here in the winter sports. Aguilar with the shot. Not Aguilar. Ontiveros with the shot. Doesn't drop. Soderquist going to pick it up to Logan. Logan with it. So we swing to the, no, swinging right into the middle. Around to Walker. Walker's going to travel again. Make sure you like our Facebook page so we can see the announcements of when we're going to be streaming and where. We are going to try to cover some wrestling as well. I did see I did see the girls wrestling team finishing up their practice today. We do definitely want to cover some of the wrestling action this year that we can. Cortez with the shot for the two points. Brings it to a six-point ball game here, two and a half minutes left in the third. Another traveling call for the Elks. MK Hunt called with that one, 225 left in the third. Marinci with the inbound. Winter sports, basketball, and wrestling coverage brought to you by Let's Go Elks. If you're interested in being part of that coverage, let me know. We'd love to have you be part of our streams as part of our advertising family. It definitely takes a village as we bring the action to you, and we are humbled and always grateful for the amazing sponsors that we have that bring this fall sports coverage to you and extend their, their advertising goodness into the winter section. If you'd like to advertise with us for basketball and wrestling, reach out to me at Let's Go Elks or at the numbers scrolling across the bottom of your screen. Marincy's going to go up with another shot. We'll draw the foul. Cortez, I believe, going to the line. I think I, it's either, it was either MK or Logan. I'm not sure if it was 21, 21 or 12. Sorry, I missed. That call just under two minutes left. Six-point ball game. Cortez goes to the line. Drains the first one. Five-point ball game is two Round Valley Lady Oaks coming into the game. Right and Ariola into the ball game. MK and Soderquist leaving the game for the Lady Oaks. Drains the second one. Four-point ball game. 31-27. Lady Oaks lead here late in the third. Ball back to Logan. Logan gets it across half court. Looks. Wright was available, did not get the pass to her. We'll see if they can recreate that here. Inbound for the Elks. Ariola is going to inbound. To Wright, right at the three point line. She's looking, looks to Walker on the inside. Also, Logan. Medina gets the ball from her, though. Marinci recovers. Marinci brings the ball down. Medina on the right side. Medina continues to drive. Logan picks her up at the three point line. Brown Valley ball. Minute and a half. Long bomb of a pass. No connection. Marinci ball, 134. Left as Marinci brings in Roy Ball. Roy Ball coming into the game for number 13 on Taveros. Did we ever get a game score for the girls, JV? I know we were asking for it in chat a little bit ago. How did things go in the girls' JV? They were playing at the middle school 
court tonight. Had volleyball going on in the dome. Cortez with the space jams. Walker will pick up the foul. We're going to the line for two. Cortez back to the line, drained her last two. Let's see what she does with these ones. Emma Young looking to come into the ball game. First one does fall. Three point ball game in the young coming in for Walker. Round Valley with 14 fouls. Marinci with three here in the second half. Roy Ball Leonard getting things figured out in the back court area for the Wildcats. Cortez does bring the second one down as well. Two point ball game. Did she cross the line on her inbound or are we seeing a foul? Aguilar being called with a foul. We're going to bring it back in again. Makes it 4-4 in the team foul situation. We may need to see if we can get some more lights put in that scoreboard on the right side where the fouls are. Maybe a foul wasn't called because there were still four fouls to three. Logan with the ball crossing half court. Logan's going to pass to Yemi Young. Yemi Young puts it up. Does not drop. Cortez with the rebound. She's going to drive hard. Nobody home. Does not get it to fall. Would have been a tie ball game. Cortez, I believe, going to pick up the foul. Lane just opened up. Cortez took advantage of it. Wasn't able to bring it down, though. One minute left. Two-point ball game. Inbound to Logan. Another foul. Two back. Nope. Sorry, that was to number 10, Aguilar. Couple quick fouls like that in the third put you in bonus territory in the fourth. Got a sub coming in, number three coming in for the Lady Wildcats. Chi coming in for Aguilar, who just picked up that penalty under the basket. Right with the inbound. to Areola, Areola driving to the right side. Go ahead and puts it up. She's gonna draw the foul. We're gonna shoot two. That'll be the sixth team foul for the Wildcats. They're now in bonus territory. Areola goes to the line. Areola been solid from the free throw line this evening. 48 seconds left in the third. You're watching Let's Go Wells. That's what I'm talking about. Somebody's excited. 31-29. Trying to throw Ariel off her game on the last shot. Here's the other one. That one does fall. Falls inside, makes it a three-point ball game. 32-29. 45 seconds on the clock. Hard pass in. Cortez with it. Cortez goes up, gets the two-pointer, makes it a one-point ball game. 34 seconds left. Fans telling the Wildcats not to press and get down. Ball is loose. Jump ball. No, maybe. We are going to have a jump ball. Logan goes and clogs things up. It will be Wildcat ball with 23.3 left in the quarter. Nina brings the ball down for the Wildcats. Cortez gets it, puts a shot up, doesn't get it to drop. Logan's going to see right, right. He's going to travel. 6.4 seconds left in the quarter. We're going to see with the ball. One point ball game in favor of your Lady Elks as we get ready to enter the fourth. Clock is running once the ball is touched. We're at a 3 2 1. She's going to drive inside the three. No foul. We're out of the third quarter. You're around Valley Elks leading 32 to 31 here in the gym. You're watching Let's Go Elks coverage on the YouTubes tonight. 
Single casting it to YouTube. Join the herd on YouTube. Rotate your phone. That red subscribe button will pop up. Hit that subscribe button for us. Help us grow the herd here. Get all those notifications. Let us know when we go live. You're watching Let's Go Up. Chase, what's going on? Thanks for joining us on the live stream. Always a joy to have in the chat. During the football season anymore, I don't get to see the chat near as much because we're just spread so many different ways. I've got it up on my phone tonight, though. Thanks for joining us. We're 10 seconds away from the fourth quarter action here in the gym. You're watching Let's Go Elks coverage. Some good old basketball. We got hoops in the old gym. I might have a co-host right here. Barrett Hamblin will be joining us here in just a second on the live stream. How do you think the game's going so far, my dude? And just like that, it was too scared. Does he get that from his mom? His mom helped us commentate some soccer a little bit. We're into the fourth quarter. Here we go. Haas into the ball game. Haas puts it up a little bit short. Haas back up for two points. It's a three-point ball game. Anybody's ball game. Three points is a quick turnaround in basketball. Here we go. Thirty-four, thirty-one. With seven and a half minutes left, your Lady Elks leading. Three-point shot by Roy Ball makes it an even ball game. Logan with the ball at the top of the key. Ariola working it around to the side that way. Cortez with the steal. Ariola is the only one in between the two. Nice work by the Lady Elks, shutting that down though. Inbound underneath for the Wildcats. Wait one more time, Barrett. What? That was so good, and I just missed it. Steal by Walker. Walker working it down. Sees Areola. No, takes the shot herself. Brings the Lady Elks up by two, 36-34. Seven minutes left in the fourth. No, Barrett, I'm not even going to do it because as soon as I give you the mic, you're going to stop talking. I, yeah, I know it. I know it. Cortez with the shot, a little bit short. Three round by the Lady Elks there to get the rebound. Everybody shifts down. A little bit of change of pace here in the fourth quarter of play. Walker looking to the inside. Finds Haas. Haas power up. Hits the bottom of the backboard. Marinci recovers. Walker with... The recovery there brings it back down for the Lady Elks. Goes to the middle. Emma Young with it. Emma Young goes up. I think they're going to call it before the shot. That I, I want to say they already had 16 fouls. We should be shooting one and one if that was a foul. Yeah, the judge under the judge up top telling us we should be shooting one and one. I believe that's the seventh team foul. Ariola possibly going to the line here. Now's when the game slows down a ton. We have six and a half minutes left in the ball game. One team in bonus. Round volley only with four team fouls. Game could slow down a lot as we have a two point ball game. Marinci bringing the ball down. Cortez with it. Cortez trying to drive on the left side. Takes the shot right-handed again on the left side. Doesn't get it to fall. Logan headed up. Hogan crosses half court. Soderquist underneath. Emma Young gets the, bas gets the ball. Shoots the basket. Gets the basket. Four-point ball game. Six minutes left. They're trying to give me another job. They're trying to give me a spotlight and everything else. 
They're not even going to be on this side of the court in 10 minutes. Ariola appears to have drawn the foul. If that was, yeah, if that was a foul that far back, we are shooting three. Three-point turnaround opportunity. First one does not fall. We got Walker and Walker coming in. Leonard back to the line. We got some Leonard fans watching the stream. They were in chat a minute ago. Second one does not drop. Lady Elks up by four here in the old high school gym. Five and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. You're watching Let's Go Elks. Last shot is up. It's going to be short. Rebound by Medina. Medina goes back up with the shot, trying to make it a two-point turnaround. Walker gets the ball. Walker looks to Logan. Logan puts it up soft for two. Makes it a six-point lead by the Lady Elks. Five and a half minutes left. Here in the gym. Stick around after the girls' varsity game. We got boys coming up. Cortez works it all the way in, gets her own rebound. Two shots, unable to bring either one down. Walker picks it up. Walker slows it down. Logan with it. Five minutes. Pressure by Medina. I thought Logan was going to hang on to that and go all the way with it. She passes to Walker. Walker misses one, rebounds, misses two. Young with the shot. They're going to call it a jump ball. Number 10, Aguilar, coming into the game for the Wildcats. It's going to be the Wildcats' ball if the possession is correct. Here we go. Just under five minutes left to play in the ball game. Lady Oaks leading by six after a jump ball. Roy ball with a long shot. She had a three earlier in the night. Young bounces it off. It's three on one. Walker the only one around. No look pass to Cortez. Cortez going to get it. And one. Cortez has been effective at the line for the Mercy Wildcats tonight. And one opportunity right now. We're playing the miss. M.K. Hunt coming into the ball game for Emma Young. Ball does drop. Makes it a three-point ball game. 40-37. Four and a half minutes left. Soderquist inbounds it to Logan. Logan looks to Walker. Walker up top. Medina shifting coverage. That's going to be a jump ball to Round Valley. 4.16 left. Yeah, no, no, see, because as soon as I move the mic, Barrett, you don't, oh, you want to sit up here with me. And I'll give you a microphone. we got a timeout on. Let's see if it's a 30 or a full. I'm not sure which is. Full timeout. we got one minute. Kalisha, were you looking at the schedule for the wrestling a little bit earlier? What's coming up for the wrestling side of the house? There's, there's matches. We don't know what's happening, but wrestling also getting started. Holbrook, wrestling headed to Holbrook for a tournament. It looked like from a Facebook post that you doubled the number of girls you have out this year. Did I see like eight or nine, ten girls? So, yeah, if I remember right, it was five girls last year wrestling, maybe more. But I remember five. So we've almost doubled our numbers in the girls' wrestling program. Coach Hamblin helping out Coach Finch in that situation right there. How many of the weight classes do we have covered, Coach Hamblin? Some. It's a very sensitive topic, asking girls how much they weigh. I don't know how that works. I don't want to be there when that happens. Steven knows what I'm talking about. I want nothing to do with that as we're weighing girls so they can wrestle each other. Three-point ball game, 4-16 left in the fourth quarter. 
Your Lady Elks lead by three. We're back to the action. Soderquist in on the ball. MK with it, smiling because she wants it. Turns around, shot. Rolls on in, making it a five-point ball game. Lady Elks extending that lead. Antaderos rolls to the left side. MK with it. MK might have a little bit of Michael Jordan going too. I feel like there's some tongue sticking out action. I gotta watch and see if that happens again. Aguilar with a nice rebound there for the Wildcats. Medina with it. Medina gonna drive to the middle. Jump stop from the free throw line. Cortez. Nice move, nobody there. Three point ball game, three and a half minutes. Probably you're gonna see a little bit of clock management start happening for the Lady Elks. I'd be slowing things down, taking your time. MK with a shot up, doesn't get it to drop. I believe that's, no, it's out on Round Valley. Marinci ball with 313 left. It's a three point ball game. We're back to a one possession ball game here in the gym. Walker out of the game with a substitution for the Lady Elks. I believe right into the ball game underneath now, number 11. Round Valley works on the right side, brings it in. Shot does not fall. Aguilar with it. Aguilar back up with it for the shot. Right comes down with it. Right heads down court again. Pretty excited and aggressive. Looks like we have a referee timeout. MK is down. I think there might be a kinesiologist in the house. Just so happens to be your dad, conveniently enough. That knee is already kinesiology taped. She seems to be favoring it. We're going to take a second and see what happens. Coach is taking advantage of this as a timeout. Coach Teisling in there with the Lady Elks talking right now. You guys gave me some names a little bit ago about the coaching staff in Marinci. I'm not sure if it was the girl or the boys varsity, so let me know if you got the coach's name for Marinci. Let me know. Coach Teisling getting excited, getting motivated with the girls. We have MK up. MK will have to leave the ball game. So Round Valley with a substitution is MK Hunt stepping off of the court. Dad helping her get off there. She seems to be putting a little bit of weight on it. So we'll get her down. Get some weight off of it. Get her a little bit of rest. Lady Elks. We're back into it. Who had possession left? I want to say Marinci had possession when they called it. And that appears to be correct. Number 10, Aguilar with the inbound. 245 left in the ballgame. Three-point ball game. We are in a one-possession situation. Ball to Cortez. Cortez driving in. Cortez takes the shot up. Doesn't get it to drop. Nice follow-through by Aguilar. One point ball game. Logan with a nice pickup. She's driving. Aguilar with a steal. Gets it to Medina. Medina brings it down for Marinci. Ball's loose. Cortez with it. Cortez brings it up. Unable to bring it down. Rebound made. Ontiveros with a shot from the outside. Doesn't get it to come down. Ball's getting a little bit exciting. No jump ball there. I believe we might see a push yeah. against Marinci, but so we should go one and one because we are well into bonus. I don't know if they're going to see it. Oh, that's five. I believe they're calling that the fifth foul for that individual. And I believe it was called on Aguilar. If I'm seeing that right, I appears to be Aguilar's fifth. Both of the judges at the table holding up a number five. I don't know if they were wanting a high five or what, but I believe we have 
Somebody coming into the ball game. Number five, Leonard coming back into the ball game. Lots of buzzers, lots of excitement. 206. It is a one point ball game here in the gym, people. So exciting that Barrett's just slapping his mom. Emma Young to the line, shooting one and one. I believe that's the eighth team foul. Brown Valley needed that one to fall, but it doesn't. It's a one-point lead for the Lady Elks. Cortez gets it to Medina. Medina brings the ball down as we just get under two minutes to play. Leonard with it. Leonard with a step inside. Really flat shot. Not a lot of arc on it. Areola driving down. Leonard getting a little aggressive there. Nice pass for Round Valley to Soderquist. Soderquist brings it down for two points. 44-41 the score. 140 left in the ball game. Cortez, we're still in a one possession ball game. Cortez gonna dribble, she's inside. She's looking for two, turns around with the jumper, balls out. Emma Young gets it with a basketball pass to Soderquist. We are still just pushing and pushing, I'm not sure. But we're gonna have a foul by Leonard as Soderquist goes to the line with 122 left in the ball game. Ninth team foul. First one drops, making it a four-point ball game. We are outside the one possession territory with 122 left. Soto Chris goes to put up that second shot. Second one drops, we got a five-point ball game again. 122, so was this? Guys, I missed it. Again, without somebody else here to keep me in line, I have no idea. Did we have two different penalties? Areola now to the line. Five point ball game, 122, Areola with a shot. It falls. With nobody else around her, I believe we might have had two technicals going on. You're gonna wanna scrub backwards and find out what was going on there. I'm gonna have to scrub backwards because I missed it. Areola's second shot does not drop. Six point ball game. That makes it six points. It's a two possession. The Brown Valley can put one more on the board. We have a three possession ball game. 122, a lot of time still on the clock. Here in the basketball world, it's a 30 second timeout. You're watching, let's go Elks. We got a good old group watching. Thanks for being part of the herd tonight. Here on Let's Go Elks, thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're zooming it back out. Soderquist to inbound, right about half court. Just under what you can see on the camera. Rustin must not be able to go down anymore because it is close to the edge and we are literally just a couple rows from her. No, he can, there we go, we can see it. Logan's gonna bring it in with six points on the board, 120. Time management, I think, would begin to factor in a little bit more, but Round Valley not taking their foot off the gas at all. Six-point ball game. Logan kicks it out of bounds. Leonard with the ball. Medina's going to let it bounce. She's going to get it. Here we go. One, ten left in the ball game as the Elks lead by six. Round Valley needs to slow things down to contain things. Cortez goes for the three, a little bit short. Ariola called with a foul during the rebound. Non-shooting foul. Unless that is their seventh, which I believe it might be. We're at seven and ten now from a foul perspective. So Leonard will go to the line with 102 left in the ball game. A 
it's getting loud and crazy in the dome, and I don't think it's because pizza's coming. Five-point ball game, 102. Second one does drop. Leonard two for two, four-point ball game. Still a two-possession ball game to turn things around for the Wildcats. Round Valley gets across half court. Again, letting go of the ball. Medina's all alone, slows it down, easy up. Two points, it's now a two-point ball game. Round Valley's gonna call a timeout, try to slow things down. 46.6 seconds. Four-point turnaround for the Lady Wildcats. Don't care where you're at, don't care if you're at home, if you're in your sweats, if you're watching it, enjoying it, by the fire. It's time to get loud, time to get crazy. Get loud in the chat, get loud in your home. You're watching Let's Go Elks basketball. Round Valley with the ball, Walker with it. Logan brings it on the right side. Round Valley now slowing things down a little bit. Up top to Walker, Walker to Walker. Round Valley gives the ball back to Marinci. Two point ball game, 13 with the shot on Taveros. Doesn't get it to fall. Young gets it, 20 seconds. Round Valley desperately trying to hold on to things. Round Valley calling another timeout with 17 seconds on the clock. We almost have a hundred different screens watching this bad boy right now as the Lady Elks and the Wildcats. Got a really close game going here in the fourth quarter right now. Your Round Valley Lady Elks leading 47 to 45. 17 seconds on the clock. Round Valley will inbound the ball. Morenci coming up to press as they try to move things around. Hugs being given. Logan, Logan with the inbound. Ontiveros will foul. We're going to go to the line for two. We're in double bonus now. Logan with the opportunity to make it a four-point lead for the Lady Elks right here. Logan's first shot is good. 15.3 seconds left. It's now a three point ball game. Logan's second shot off the backboard. No good. Young with it. Kicks it out to Logan. We're trying to slow it down. Soderquist with it. Here we go. We're running around the outside. We're going to draw a foul again. Again, another foul for Ontiveros. Three-point ball game now as we shoot two. 
3.7 seconds. Either one of these drops makes it a two possession ball game for the Lady Elks. A little bit of buffer that you want now. Number 21, Kayla Logan. First shot of two from the line. First one does not drop. A little bit of motivation from Young. Logan's second shot, it's getting loud. Marinci getting noisy and that drops. It's a four point ball game. Marinci with the inbound. Two, one, zero, that's it. The only way a four point ball game can turn around would be a foul on a three pointer with an and one. They would have tied it up. Your Round Valley Lady Elks after it's all over. Win the ball game 49 to 45 here in the old high school gym. Guys, we're about 10 minutes away from the boys getting ready to get things started. You're watching Let's Go Elks.
All right, guys, sorry I'm all the places everywhere. You got to miss a little bit of the intro action, but it's time for some basketball. Round Valley's going to pick up the ball. Starters for your Round Valley Elks, number four, Gavin Latham, number 10, Trey Merrill, number 12, Riker Marble, number 23, Brett Jordan, number 34, Little Howdy, Holden Bigelow. Round Valley with the ball, Riker Marble. Down to Holden. Holden, Trey with it at the free throw line. Up and down. Mutangala gets it for Marinci, passes it down to number 11, Munez. Munez with the ball. Latham with the coverage. Riker Marble trying to get aggressive on the steal there. Carey is the call. Round Valley gets the ball. Trey Merrill with the shot. Doesn't come down. Still a scoreless ball game. 7-19 in the first. Signs passes it around to number 10. Vosa. Vosa to Mutangala. Over to 22. Sanchez. Sanchez with the travel. Round Valley gets the ball back. 7-06. Riker Marvel number 12 bringing the ball down. Gavin Latham. Gavin to 23. Brett Jordan with the shot, unable to bring it down. Riker Marble trying to get in there to recover. Morency with the ball, bringing it down. Trace and Merrill. Trace and Merrill slowing things down. Morency with the ball underneath. Into Matangala. Matangala with a two point shot, doesn't fall. Picked up by number three, Signs. Signs with a shot. Doesn't also fall. Trace and Merrill with a nice rebound to Riker Marble. Riker Marble quick pass to Brett Jordan. Brett Jordan brings it into Howdy. Little Howdy Bigelow out to Gavin Latham. Riker Marble with a three point shot. Crowd is electric already. We're two minutes into the ball game. First score on the board, Riker Marble for three. He rolls it around onto the left side. Back to Matangala. Matangala with the shot. Three-pointer to answer. Doesn't drop. Riker Marble with the rebound. Gavin Latham with the ball. Gavin to Brett Jordan. Brett Jordan back to Latham. Latham with the drive into the left side. Gets it to Trace Merrill. Trace and Merrill up. Two points. Vosa with it. Vosa to Matangala. Looking for Munez. Timeout, Marinci. 5-18 left in the first round. Valley Elks lead 5-0. to Lots of noise, lots of crazy here in the gym. Downside to be in the one-man show. I apologize. In the 10 minutes between games, I had to feed the cameraman, go prep the pregame, come back, go again. And so I apologize that you were in pre-roll until I got back over here and ran so we could start the game. Timeout is over. 518 left in the first. You're watching Let's Go Elks coverage of Round Valley basketball as they open their season against the Marinci Wildcats. We're here in the old gym. Not that there's a new gym. I don't like this just what we always call it, it's the old high school gym. Gavin Latham with the pressure on Munez. Munez picks it back up, gets it to Signs. Signs with the ball right now. Pressure by Latham and Marble. 
Ball into the middle. I want to see who they pick for the foul there. It's going to be Bigelow. Opportunity for Marinci's first score of the evening. Bosa to the line. We're shooting two. No shot. He was on the line. That shot won't count. We're going to the second shot. Play the miss. One shot. Still scoreless on the Wildcat side of the scoreboard. Vosa's second shot is up. Off the front of the rim. Vosa gets his own rebound with a weird bounce off the rim and off the hands. Sanchez with it. Sanchez hard dribble to the right side. Back to the middle. Ball's up. High off the back of the backboard. Bigelow with the rebound. Bigelow's pass gets stolen. Bigelow is going to pick up his second foul in about 30 seconds. We may see him come out. Poston looking at his sideline. Marinci back to the line. Sign shooting two. Carson Gillespie appears to be going into the ballgame. First point for the Wildcats. Signs with a free throw. Signs a second shot drops as well. Round Valley ball. Munoz trying to get in there and cause some havoc. Brett Jordan looking to inbound, trying to find somebody. Finds Gavin Lathan, but the ball comes out. Marinci ball. Marinci to inbound. Matangolo with it. Four and a half minutes left in the first. Round Valley up. Five to two. That's a backcourt. Interesting situation right there. Tangle on the defense, Brett Jordan bringing the ball in. Gavin Latham with it. Gavin Latham drives hard, finds Riker Marble for the three, doesn't fall. Mutangala with the rebound. Mutangala calling it from the top, 422 left in the first. Mutangala one hand pass back to Mutangala. Signs with it up top. Looking at Munez, Munez on the left side. Starts his dribble. Lots of pressure by Gavin Latham. Back to Mutangla on the top. Brett Jordan with the coverage there. Brett Jordan with the pick. Gets picked. Two points in for Mutangla. 5-4 ball game. Gavin Latham brings the ball down for the Oaks. Gavin calling for some help. Trayson Merrill with it up top. Trayson Merrill with a hard step. Brings it in. Two points for Trayson Merrill. His Second basket of the game, four points for Merrill. Gillespie's going to get his first foul. Third team foul for the Elks. We're going to bring it in underneath. Whistle blown, shot new good. Foul on number 22, Sanchez. I believe that's the first team foul for Round Valley. Substitution coming in. Round Valley bringing in Charlie Whiting. Brett Jordan inbound. Whiting coming over close to us, about half court. Elks up by three. Mutangala might have my favorite kicks of this basketball game. They're sweet black on gold situations. Missed pass for the Elks. Marinci will recover. Three and a half minutes left in the first. (laughs) 
Rebound by number 10, Vosa. Makes it a one point ball game. Recovered by Signs. Signs easy up, doesn't get it to drop. Gillespie to Riker Marble. Riker Marble bringing it back. Timeout White. I believe that's a 30 second timeout. 2.53 left in the first. Elks up by one. Round Valley inbound, 2 to 3 left in the first quarter of play into Gillespie. Gillespie's going to take the shot alone from the side. That's good for two. Carson Gillespie, first substitute for the Round Valley Elks. Coming into the game a few minutes ago for Holden Bigelow. Mutangala bringing the ball down. Lots of hoppity skippity going on right there. Sanchez. Shot by Munez. Rosa is going to pick up the rebound and make the shot. He's going to draw a foul. Foul, I believe, Hamblin, or uh, Whiting. I believe that may have been to number 30, Charlie Whiting. First shot is short, number 10, Vosa. His third free throw. Currently 0 for 3 from the line. Second one doesn't drop either. 0 for 4 for the line. Provosa. Round Valley with the ball. Riker Marble bringing it down two and a half minutes. Quick pass to Whiting in the middle. Is that an and one situation? Car Charlie Whiting gets two and we're going to and one. We'll see if he can turn this into a three-point play as the Elks lead by five points, 11 to six. Here in the gym. Ball doesn't drop, rebound by the Wildcats. Bosa with the rebound, gives it to Munoz. Munoz bringing the ball down. Signs with the shot, signs from the three-point line, doesn't drop, Trace Romero gets it. Gets slapped pretty hard in the back of the head right there. Mutangala resetting things. Trayson Merrill picks up the rebound. Bullet of a pass intercepted by Munez. Munez to Mutangala. Charlie's going to draw the foul, I think. Oh, Trace and Merrill. Ron Valley with five team fouls already late in the first quarter of play. Another shooting foul. Matangula going to the line. First shot does not drop. Second shot from Matangala. Second shot does drop. Marincy picked up the ball, signs with it. It's going to be out of bounds off of Munez. Round Valley with the ball, 142 left in the first quarter. Play as your Elks lead by four. Merrill inbound. Looking to Gavin Latham. Gets it to Whiting. Whiting lobs it to Gillespie. 
Gillespie picks up his dribble to Merrill up top. Brett Jordan. Brett Jordan drives to the middle. He's going to go up with it. Stopped by Marinci. Sanchez with the ball. Out of bounds by Marinci. Gavin Latham causing some disruption there. Fast moves by Munez. Pass to Vosa. Vosa with the shot. Sixth team foul. I believe that's Whiting's second. 115. We are still in the first quarter, people. Marinci the inbound, finds 22. Sanchez with the shot, doesn't get it to fall. Gets the rebound, brings it up top. Sines passes it in to number 10. Vosa with it. Vosa spins around, takes the shot. Nothing on it. Gavin Latham calling for some help. Gets it to Trayson Merrill. Trayson Merrill at the three-point line. Drives the step in, takes the shot, doesn't get it to fall. Nice pick up by Gillespie. Gillespie to Merrill. No foul there. Marinci trying to keep it in bounds. Won't do so. Round Valley's ball with 48.5 seconds left in the first quarter. A little bit of a reach there. Sines going to get the penalty. Round Valley will inbound the ball. 41.4 seconds. Tangla has been really close. If you've been watching on all the inbound plays, he is hugging that line pretty hard. They blow the whistle that he reaches across. Round Valley with the inbound pass. Gillespie with it. Gillespie to Trace and Merrill from the free throw line. Two points for Merrill. Merrill now with six points on the line. The lead scorer for the Round Valley Elks as the Elks go up six points, 13 to seven. 30 seconds left in the first quarter of play. Gavin Latham with coverage right now on Munez. Munez to number four, new player, Ceballos to Mutangala. Mutangala with the jumper, and it's back out. Trayson Merrill with the rebound. Gets it to Brody Ziegler. Brody Ziegler. Brody Ziegler with the shot, unable to get it. Out on white, behind, under the basket. Will be Marinci's ball with 4.4 seconds left in the first quarter of play. The Round Valley Elks up by six. Mutangala almost making conversion for points there as we end the first quarter of play. Yaround Valley Elks, Elks leading 13 to seven. Forty-five seconds until the second quarter of play. You're watching Let's Go Elks coverage of some Round Valley basketball here in the old high school gym. If you want to help us continue to bring winter sports coverage, please reach out. We'd love to have you reach out. We'd love to have you be part of our advertising family. We want to expose your business to our communities. Show some love to Let's Go Elks. We'd love to have you advertise with us. Reach out to me. On our Facebook page at Let's Go Elks or at 928-251-0005. We decided very last minute after we were told the game was happening, we wanted to be here for the season opener. So Let's Go Elks is here. We got set up, and I, I think about 20 minutes, if I'm honest, throwing cameras around, plugging in. We're good to go, bringing you the coverage. Here we go to the second quarter. Mutangala to inbound. Brody Ziegler with that coverage. Back behind to, uh, to Munez. Back to Matangala. 
Bosa moving around, opening things up. Trayson Merrill gets the ball. Gavin Latham with it now, across half court. Here we go. Brody Ziegler with the ball over on the right side, dishes it in. We got Howdy Bigelow back in the ball game. Little Howdy holding Bigelow, sorry. Now their two-point shot for Trayson Merrill. Eight points on the night for Merrill. Makes it an eight-point ball game. A little bit of a travel going on right there. Round Valley with the ball. 7.20 left in the half. If you're just joining us for the boys game, make sure you hit that share button on the video. Let your friends and family know that we got Elks basketball going in the gym right now on Let's Go Elks. Tracy Merrill with the ball at the top. Underneath, oh, howdy. Holden gets it. I got to stop calling him Howdy. Holden Bigelow gets two points on, makes it a 10 point ball game. Number 34, Holden Bigelow. Sanchez with it, gets it to number 10, Bosa. Munez with the shot, comes up a little bit short. Bigelow's going to get the rebound. Gavin Latham with it now. Elks lead by 10. Merrill with it. Merrill takes it inside, gets it up. No foul on the play. Matangula bringing it down. He's got some big old steps. That's all I know right there. I think he started his layup at the three-point line. A little bit of a spelling bee cheer going on over there by the cheerleaders. We'll tangle it to the line. One for two on my count. I might have missed him. One for two shots up. Doesn't get it to drop. Substitution coming in for the Round Valley Elks. Brody Ziegler coming out of the game. Number 23, Brett Jordan coming back in the game. Mutangler getting ready, one shot left. Sounds like a lot of Tarzans going on right here in the gym. Mutangler with the shot, six and a half minutes left, gets that one to drop. His fourth point of the evening. Nine point ball game, Round Valley Oaks lead here in the second. Gavin Latham, Brett Jordan, Brett Jordan, Riker Marble with a sweet pass to Bigelow. Bigelow unable to get the shot down out on Round Valley. Nancy will inbound it. Bosa to inbound the ball. 6-11 left in the half. Mutangala bringing the ball. Mutangala pass out the side. Savalos is going to travel. Round Valley gets the ball with just under six. Nine-point ball game. Bigelow gets the ball, gets it to Riker Marble. Riker Marble off to the races. Unable to connect with the basket there. Mutangala gets the ball for Morenci after a pass from Munez. Shots up. Shot will drop. Hands are in the air. That's going to be a three-pointer. Bigelow up top, gets it to Latham. Latham a little farther outside than I think he wanted to be. Vosa goes up, unable to bring it down. Mutangala there to pick it up. Puts it in for two. Mutangala's ninth point of the ball game. Trace and Merrill at the top. 5.15 left in the half. Mutangala with the steal. is all alone. Taps it in for two more. Mutangala now with 11 of the 15 points for Marinci. Timeout's called. 5.05 left in the half.
We'll time out. we got 45 seconds before the action comes back. It's a two-point ball game as the Elks lead 17 to 15 here in the gym. Once again, if you're just joining us for the boys' varsity action, rotate that phone real quick and hit that subscribe button if you would. Please help us grow the herd, become part of the herd on our YouTube channel. When you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell, you'll get notified on your phone and on YouTube when we go live. Ten seconds away from things coming back with 5.05 left in the second quarter. Your Elks lead by two. Brett Jordan inbound. Brett Jordan to Riker Marble. Riker Marble, I think, going to pass it to Brett Jordan. Pass is not connected. Marinci with the ball with 4.58. Mutangula to inbound. Munoz gives it right back. Nobody covering number 11, Munoz. Three-point shot attempt. Marinci's ball over on the side. On the line. Riker Marble called with that. With that penalty, if that is a foul or is it a warning, we may be shooting one and one here. Calling out numbers, ready for the inbound. Bigelow, I believe, is going to get his third foul of the night. That should be one and one. Bigelow is attributed with the penalty. We're going to the line. One and one. Sanchez goes to the line. Sanchez's shot comes up a little short, picked up by Marinci. Mutangler with the three, doesn't get it to drop. Riker Marble picks it up. Riker Marble from the top takes the three-pointer. A little, a little bit short of an NBA three. Gavin Latham with the ball. Oh, keep it up, Gavin. Nice pass out to Brody Ziegler. Brody Ziegler a little bit long. I believe that's going to be a foul on number 44 into the ball game. Brandon Strickland. That is correct. 44 his first. Makes it nine team fouls for Round Valley. We're going back to the line one and one with 423 left in the half. Sanchez doesn't get that free throw to drop either. Picked up by Marinci though. Vosa with the shot doesn't get it to drop either. Brett Jordan picks it up. Penalty against Marinci. Round Valley's ball, 416. Fourth team foul for Marinci. Riker Marble bringing the ball down for the Elks, 410. As the Elks still lead by two. Pass out to Gavin Latham. Gavin Latham. Riker Marble, Riker Marble with the ball out to Latham again. Brett Jordan up top looking for the ball. Brett Jordan gets it. Brody Ziegler gets it on the inside. Nice step in. We are going to shoot two. Brody Ziegler goes to the line. Round Valley with some subs into the game, changing things up a little bit. You can definitely feel a little bit different momentum on the Elks offense now. Brody's edge at the line. We're shooting two. First one does not drop. Shot, 
I don't know if I'm just closer to the fans, but there's a lot of love with basketball fans, apparently. I don't know. I must be farther away from the football fans. I don't hear it as much. I'm just saying. Brody Ziggler's shot does not drop. I believe that's timeout. Marinci, 348 left in the half. Your Elks still lead by two. Take a quick break right here. Full timeout, 40 seconds left. Here we are as we're still in the second quarter. Here in the old high school gym. You're watching Let's Go Elks coverage. Sorry, it's just me tonight. Cass Pond is now part of the coaching staff, so I don't have him up here with me. And again, this was very, very, very last minute. Got the call yesterday that the season was starting. I thought we had a few more weeks. I guess round ball is next weekend. Round Valley hosting 31 teams total for a three-day basketball crazy town next weekend here in Round Valley. Round ball tournament. All right, Marinci to inbound, 348 left in the half. Again, very similar, the Marinci boys not with a lot of substitutions. The Marinci girls with the very same thing, running a lot of the same players. I think we actually have almost the starting five out here. Sabalos being the only one that is not a starter. I think we're gonna see a penalty there by Bosa. Number 10, sixth team foul for Marinci. 3.33 left in the half. Anybody with the first name Brandon right now, they just got their own cheer, I'm telling you. Brandon Strickland in the ball game, setting a nice pick there. Unable to convert for points though. Huge pass to Signs. Signs with a no look pass, he's gonna travel. Good idea. Does not translate though. Round Valley gonna get the ball now. Brett Jordan bringing the ball into Riker Marvel. Riker Marvel calling to set something up here. Back to Brett Jordan. Brett Jordan, quick pass Brody Ziggler. Brody's going to take the shot on the left side. Doesn't get his drop. Gets his own rebound. Brett Jordan goes inside the free throw line right in the middle. One-handed. Unable to bring it down as well. Savalos gets the pass. Past half court. Mutangala now with it. Morenci getting things set up. Under three minutes left in the half. Mutangala with a pass. Pass to Munoz, then to Savalos. Pass into to Savalos, goes out of bounds. Round Valley gets it. 2.45 left in the half. Brody Ziegler with the ball. Called for traveling. Marinci with it now. Long three-point shot for Munez, picked up by Round Valley. Brandon Strickland passes the ball to Gavin Latham. Gavin Latham drops it, I believe, to Jordan. Brody Ziegler trying to keep it inbound. Keeps it in, Riker Marble with the ball. Mutangala gets the ball for the Wildcats, so we get to two minutes left in the half. Mutangala looking, but he's gonna drive. He takes it all the way in. It's gonna be an and one situation for Mutangala as the game's tied up. Mutangala now with 13 of the 17 points for the Marinci Wildcats. He's going to go in for an and one situation. Here comes Trayson Merrill back into the ball game. Brody Ziegler sitting down. Swapping out right now. Number 10, Vosa coming out of the ball game. For I believe that's 25. Kitchen. in. 
One shot, play the miss. 155 left in the half. Tie ball game. Ball does not drop. Brian Strickland tries to get the rebound. Kitchen gets it though. Kitchen gets it around the outside. Matangala now with it with a long three. Matangala drops it. Marinci takes the lead by three. Brandon Strickland with the ball for the Elks. Kitchen on the block. A travel call on Brandon Strickland. Minute and a half left. Substitute coming in. Gillespie coming back into the ball game for Gavin Latham. Seven out, Gavin. Lutangula bringing the ball down. 125 left in the half. Are we going to get a charge? We're going to get a charging call there. Mutangala not happy with it. Looking at the wrong ref. Getting a cheer from the student section of you can't do that. Oh. Things getting resituated here. Whiting into the ball game as Brett Jordan gets the ball to Riker Marble. 118 left. Round Valley now trailing by three after the three-pointer for Mutangala, after a two-pointer that was an and-one situation. Tracy Merrill providing the pressure. Mutangala back with the ball. He drives in again. Does not get it to drop, trying to draw the foul. Riker Marble comes over to the left side. Tracy Merrill gets the ball, a little bit of wild pass. Picked up by Sabalos. Back to Mutangala, 45 seconds. Signs with a shot, does drop, makes it a five point ball game. Four points for Signs on the night. Brett Jordan, nobody around, three pointer, kaboom! <laughs> Brett Jordan's first bucket of the night, good for three. He even thought about it for a second there, still nobody around. Took the shot, good for three. Mutangle letting the clock drain just a little bit as they set things up. 21 seconds left in the half. Pass out to the right side. Back to Matangla for a long three. Matangla doesn't answer. Merrill with the rebound. Gets it to Riker Marble. Pass to Whiting on the right side. Back to Marble. Looking to Gillespie up top. Five seconds. Pass in to Merrill. Merrill with a wild shot. That is going to be a one and one. Merrill should be going to the line. At least seven team fouls. We are going to the line. Trace and Merrill. I believe this is his first attempt at the line. Merrill with eight points on the night. Six different scorers on the Round Valley roster. Merrill's first shot is up and good. Bank hours are extended a little bit here on Wednesday. Not quite sure what that was right there. Just wanted to give it a shot. Merrill's ninth of the night. Here's the second shot. Round Valley trailing by one. Merrill's going to tie it up and people, can you believe this? Can you believe this right here? Just like the Lady Elks, we go into halftime 22 to 22. It's a fresh 16 minutes after a 10 minute break, you're watching Let's Go Elks here in the gym. We'll be back in 10.
Four and a half minutes away, ladies and gentlemen, to the second half. Here's your Round Valley Elks. Have it all tied up with the Marinci Wildcats. 22 to 22 here in the high school gym. We got another 16 minutes of basketball coming at you here in just a few minutes. You're watching Let's Go Elks. All right, guys, we are 35 seconds away from basketball. Second half tied up as the Round Valley Elks and the Marinci Wildcats get ready for 16 more minutes of basketball, guys. We're live here in the high school gym. As we get things going again right here. Look at this. Back in the gym. And just like that, we're back at it, guys. It's the third quarter of play here in the old high school gym. Riker Marble going to start things off. Looking for Brett Jordan. Brett Jordan picks it up. Gavin Latham in the middle. Howdy, big low for three. A little long again. See, I just did it again. Howdy's sitting beside me. I'm calling the kid Howdy. Holden. It's Holden. Little Howdy. 
Mutangala with the ball. 16 of the 22 points for the Marinci Wildcats go to Mutangala. Ball's going to go over the back. It's going to be round balance. Riker Marble to Bigelow. Bigelow looking on the left side, gets it to Merrill. Back to Bigelow. Look at it. Just a little bit off. Mer Merrill's going to get the rebound, though. Convert that for two. Two more for Trayson Merrill. Trayson Merrill with 12 points on the night. Mutangala bringing the ball down for the Wildcats. Dishes it over to the side. Mutangala with the rebound. Number 10 with the attempted shot there. Vosa unable to get it to drop. Gavin Latham bringing the ball down hard for the Elks. Trayson Merrill from the side. No rim needed. No rim, no backboard needed. 14 points for number 10. Trayson Merrill as round belly goes up quickly. 26 to 22. Matangala to Vosa. Vosa with a three-point shot, trying to turn things around, unable to do so. Trayson Merrill with the rebound, gets it to Riker Marble. Riker Marble from the three-point line, crosses to Merrill. Merrill looks to the middle. Over to Bigelow. Bigelow looking because the middle's open. Nobody takes it. Bigelow looking for things to work around. Gavin Latham sends Jordan across. Jordan gets it at the three-point line on the other side. Dishes it to Marble. Marble keeps it inbound. Out the top to Bigelow. Holden Bigelow gets it to Riker Marble. Under six minutes left in the third. Bigelow looking to Gavin Latham. Doesn't make the pass. Or to Merrill on the outside now. Merrill to Gavin Latham. Gavin Latham with the opportunity to shoot. Travels, though. Marinci ball. Mutangla gives the ball to Signs, bringing the ball down. Cross in half court. Handoff back to Signs. Foul called there, first team foul. I believe on Merrill. I think he said 10. Brett Jordan's across the line. Because that's the second one, it results in a team foul. Officiator Ashton going to talk it out right now to see what happens here. I believe he said team foul. Made the tee with his hands like it was a technical, so we are getting a technical foul here. Munoz with the shot as the Elks lead by four, 535 left in the third. First one is in and out. Nunez yet to score here in the game tonight. Only three Marinci Wildcats have put baskets in. He is the fourth. Three point ball game is the Elks lead 26 to 23, 535 left. Marinci also gets the ball. Mutangala with the inbound. Back to Nunez. Nope, I apologize, Nunez didn't get it. Sainz has it. Sainz passes to Sanchez. Sanchez dribbles hard, one in the middle, one handed, good for two, it's a one point ball game. Sanchez 0 for 2 from the free throw line, that's his first score of the night. Now five Wildcats on the board. Trayson Merrill with it, Trayson Merrill passes it back out to Riker Marble, Riker Marble runs up the left side, back to Merrill, free throw line. Unable to bring it down, we tangle with the ball for the Wildcats, pass to Sainz, Sainz from the three point line, nobody else around, not able to bring it down, rebound by the Wildcats, Merrill says, no, thank you, sir. Round Valley with the ball back. Gavin Latham brings it down to Brett Jordan. Brett Jordan making a point, trying to move things around. Riker Marble running onto the inside, coming around the outside. Riker Marble dishes to Bigelow. Bigelow up one-handed. Two points for Holden Bigelow. Four points for him on the night. Mutangle on the left side to the center with a three-point shot. A little bit short. That's going to be off for Rince. Off. It's round volleyball. Round volleyball. 
There we go. Gavin Latham to inbound it. Riker Marble back deep probably to get the inbound. 4.23 left in the third round by leading by three points. Latham up the middle being guarded by Signs. Trayson Merrill now Trayson with a three. A little bit short. Signs with a pass to Sanchez. Sanchez charge. Sanchez will be given the charging foul against Merrill. We're going to turn things around. Round Valley with the ball. 4-0-4. Time not found. Round Valley Oaks leading by three. 28-25. Here we go. Elmer into the ball game for the Round Valley Oaks. Number 22, Jordan Elmer. Howdy Bigelow with the ball from Merrill. Decides not to go up. Marble all around for three. Marble three-pointer. Riker Marble sixth point of the night. Up by six, 333 left. It's going to be a penalty against Latham. No. Penalty against the Wildcats, against Sanchez. Substitutes coming in. Sanchez coming out. Savalos coming in. Elmer to inbound to Riker Marble. Marble gets it across half. Back to Elmer. Elmer to Merrill. Merrill looking around. Takes. Oh, thought he was going to take advantage of that middle being open. Doesn't. Riker Marble with the ball on the right side now. Dishes to Howdy. Little Howdy holding Bigelow. Out to Elmer. Elmer with the three. Doesn't get it to drop. Picked up by Savalos. Makes the pass. Intercepted. Ball stolen right there, picked up by Latham. Riker Marble with it as we cross half court. Riker's going to go all the way, a little too much on it. Rebound by number 10, Vosa. <laughs> Munez with it. Munez, I believe, still a two-pointer. Doesn't matter either way. Tries to make it out of bounds on Merrill, unable to do so there. We're gonna get a foul call. Hang on. Turning it into a technical on the coach, I believe. Technical against Round Valley's bench. Coach Poston trying to understand what's going on there. We hope it doesn't cause a momentum change right here. Butangula goes to the line. Butangula 50-50 from his free throws makes that one. I believe that's the 17th point for Butangula right now. Drops the second one. Marinci will pick up the ball. Four-point ball game is your Oaks lead. 2.30 left in the third. The official engaging somebody from the crowd. Sounds like we might have somebody leaving the ball game here this evening. A little less conversation, a little more action, baby, I think is what we might want to see here. Mutangala with the ball brings it across half court. A little bit of bump set spike action back to Mutangala. 220 left on the clock. Quick passes around. Signs with it. Signs with some big old steps. Drops it to two, makes it a two-point ball game. And answered by the Round Valley Elks. Back to a four-point ball game.
Mutangala drives in on the right side. Upside down backwards pass to number 10. Denied. Gavin Latham! Gavin Latham puts it in for two, brings it back to a six point ball game. Gavin's first points of the night. Timeout, 30 second timeout. Now a six point ball game, 125 left in the third quarter of play here in the high school gym. You're watching Round Valley Oaks basketball as they host the Mercy Wildcats here in the gym. First game of the season. Welcome, welcome, welcome winter sports. It is December. Score leader for the Round Valley Elks, Trace and Merrill right now with 14 points. On my chicken scratch, seven Round Valley Elks have put points on the board. 125 left, Marinci's ball. Here we go, third quarter action here in the gym. Things have quieted down just a little bit. Elmer trying to get the rebound. I believe we're gonna see a foul on number 10 for the Marinci Wildcats. Elmer will inbound. Elmer to inbound to Marble. Riker Marble with the ball right now. Long bomb pass to Elmer. Elmer upside down and backwards for two points. Jordan Elmer's first two points of the ball game. Long three-pointer. Savalos doesn't get it to drop. Merrill with the rebound. Riker Marble again, copy paste. Not going to work this time to Brett Jordan. Signs with a behind the back pass to Savalos. Savalos with a two pointer. Rebound by Signs to Vosa. Vosa gets two. Merrill with the ball now. Middle wide open. Merrill with the shot. Can't get it to drop. 33 seconds on the clock. Mutangala trying to drive hard. Over to the right side. Passes it up. Into the middle. Round Valley unable to finish and get the, re get the turnover. It's short, out of bounds. Round Valley ball with 20.6 seconds. Gillespie coming into the ball game for the Round Valley Oaks for Riker Marble. Round Valley Oaks in the game right now. We got Jordan Elmer, Trayson Merrill, Gillespie, Brett Jordan, and Gavin Latham. Bring it up, Gavin. I was slightly challenged to see how many different ways I could say that. Just saying. Elmer with a long three. It's going to be a little bit short. We're going to go into the fourth quarter. Your Round Valley Oaks leading 37 to 31 over the Marinci Wildcats. Eight of the Round Valley Elks have now scored baskets. Trace and Merrill, your score leader for the Round Valley Elks on the Marinci side of things, Mutangala with, I believe that's 20 points. Again, based on my crazy chicken scratch. Signs with four on the evening so far. Vosa with four, Munez with one, and Sanchez with two. And I think that actually does add up to 31. That's pretty amazing. On the Elks side of things, Riker Marble with eight points on the night. Gavin Latham, Jordan Elmer, and Charlie Whiting all with two. Brett Jordan with three points. And little Howdy Holden Bigelow with four points on the night. we got 15 seconds before we get ready for fourth quarter action. It's my bedtime here in the high school gym. You're watching Let's Go Elks. Once again, guys, help us out. Join the herd by hitting that subscribe button on the YouTubes. Help us out, and you'll get to know when we go live. We're trekking towards a thousand. That's our next goal for the herd on our YouTube channel. Every time we reach a milestone, YouTube opens up more toys and treats for us to play with. 
That thousand goal lets us do a lot more when it comes to streaming in a mobile fashion. Signs needs to get across half court. Open, wide open. Isn't going to get it, but nice pickup there by number 10, Vosa. Bring it into four point ball game. Gavin Latham is going to travel. 7.34 on the clock. Morenzi with the ball. Mutangalo with the ball. Gives it to Signs to bring down. Gillespie picks up coverage on Signs. Mutangalo with the ball. Gavin Latham on him. Nice pass out to number 11. Munoz is going to come up short. Vosa with the ball. Vosa up. Doesn't get it to drop. Bigelow in there trying to stop things up. Brad Jordan gets the ball, brings it off half court. Jordan Elmer across the side. Howdy Bigelow. I got to stop calling him Howdy. Tries to make the shot, unable to get it. Utangala back for the three-pointer. Marinci wants the three, unable to get it to drop. Bigelow picks it up. Bigelow finds Elmer. Elmer looks at the three, doesn't take it. Gavin Latham now with the ball. Gavin going to slow things down, get things readjusted here. Brett Jordan with the ball. Brett Jordan to Bigelow. Holden Bigelow. I got to keep saying Holden. Gavin Latham! Two points. Let's go Elks indeed. 6.20 left of the ballgame. Elks up by six. Munez with another three-point attempt. I think we're going to see a foul by number 10. I don't know how many that is for him. That's a number of fouls for, for Vosa. I don't see any indication from the judges' table, scorer's table, whatever it is. I'm looking at Lily. She's not telling me anything. It's not wrestling. Red Jordan bringing the ball down. Finds Bigelow. Bigelow hands off to Latham. Latham gets it in. Riker Marble back in the ball game for the Elks. Marble in for Elmer. Under six minutes left in the ball game. Elks up by six. Riker Marble out top. Brings it in. Bigelow with it. Bigelow unable to hang on to his dribble. It's going to be Marinci ball. Sanchez coming into the game for Vosa. Sanchez with two points on the night. Oh. For two from the free throw line. Vosa with six points coming out of the ball game. I'm hearing two shots, and I was looking down counting numbers. I'm not sure what this penalty was for. It is looking like a technical because everybody's going behind the half court line. The Elks slightly confused. I'm not sure what is going on. Elmer on the sideline to come back into the ball game. Bigelow goes over and asks Poston, but I'm not sure what he says. Wittangela brings the first one down, making it a five-point ball game. Wittangela's second free throw attempt. That one's going to be a little bit short. Marinci's going to get the ball. Trailing by five with 5.48 left in the ballgame. Marinci, or, or Round Valley players on the court right now. Gavin Latham, Jordan Elmwarner, Holden Bigelow, Brett, Jordan, and Riker. Marble. Signs trying to lean in a little bit on Elmer there to draw a foul. Doesn't get it. Heads in. Mutangla with the shot one-handed on the right side. Gets his own rebound. A well-deserved two points right there for Mutangla. Riker Marble dishes to Bigelow. We're going to get a jump. Whoa, I think it's going to be a jump ball situation. Subs are coming in. The line looks towards Round Valley on a possession perspective. So I think it's going to be Round Valley's ball underneath. Subs in. Bigelow coming out. Elmer passes in to Merrill. Merrill quick pass out to the top. Gavin Latham with it. 520 left in the ballgame. Round Valley up three. 
Gavin passes to himself with the help of Savalos. Elmer with the ball inside for a two-pointer. Short doesn't get it to drop. Merrill's trying to get to the ball. Nice aggressive work by Merrill. Marinci still recovers the ball. 5.03 left in the ball game. Signs decides not to go for the three. Gives to Sanchez. He's going to get it with the bank shot. Tie ball game. Five points for Sanchez on the night. Penalty will get drawn. Riker Marble back on his feet. I believe that's the fifth team foul for Marinci. Four current fouls for Round Valley from a team perspective. We're going to go underneath. Brett Jordan's going to bring the ball in. Full timeout for Round Valley, I believe, was the call right there. I will say, besides Wetangula's kicks, Coach Poston's are probably my favorite. I don't know if Rustin can hear me, but zoom in on those bad boy kicks. I think uh, Coach Poston's got some Air Jordans. I may have to copy and paste those. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Zooming. Zo you're, wait. He didn't hear what I told him to zoom in on. That's all right. That's all right. Rustin heard me now. Let's see if we can get it real quick. We're looking down. Wait, no. I still, uh, maybe, yes. Yes, there they are right there. I believe those are Air Jordans right there. Coach Poston rocking some sweet kicks. I'm going to have to Google those bad boys when I get home. I don't know why everybody thinks this is funny, but the crowd thinks this is funnier than anything I've said tonight. Ten seconds on the clock. We're back out at it. Seriously, I love the old school yellow. Like, I'm going to have to look at those because I need another pair of shoes. I'm just trying to be like my wife. It's really, it's really what it is, I think. She is worth emulating, I will say that. Round Valley bringing it in, Brad Jordan, here we go. Elmer with the shot, comes up a little bit short, tries to get his own rebound. Sanchez with it, Sanchez looking around. Guys, it's a tie ball game in case you forgot. Four and a half minutes left, I think it's way too quiet here in the gym right now. Sanchez with a three-point opportunity. A little bit long. Mutangula with a nice rebound. Gets in there pretty aggressive. Brett Jordan, what is going on right here? Out of all the craziness that just happened, Gavin ends up picking the foul. We're going to the line, shooting two. Sanchez is shooting two. 423 left in the ballgame. It's a tie ball game. Sanchez 0 for 2 from the line. Five points on the night. That one's going to drop. Second shot for Sanchez, number 22. Six points now on the night. It's up. It's not going to drop. Latham's able to get it. That's a foul right there. He knew it, too. Savalos knew that one was coming. Is that six or is that seven? If that is six, oh, wait. Oh, no, we're buzzing to let little Howdy in. Here comes Holden Bigelow for Elmer. That must be the sixth team foul right now. One more, and we'll go to the line in a bonus situation. Gavin Latham gets the ball, 420 as the Elks now trail by one. 415, Bigelow up top, Bigelow gets it back to Latham. Latham, look, Latham looking to Merrill, that's a tongue twister right there. He's not gonna give it to him though. Back to Bigelow. Timeout, Round Valley. 404 left in the ball game. The Elks trail by one point. Just a 30-second timeout, not too long, but just long enough to kind of hit that reset button. The Elks trailing by one. Elks will inbound the ball.
Emergency players coming back out for defense. Signs of all those Matangala, Nunez, and Sanchez. Brett Jordan to inbound, looking to Riker Marble. Riker Marble gets the ball. Tries to find, tries to find Mero. Motangala wanting it to be out on Round Valley, but it's out on him. Underneath, four minutes left. Inbound to Bigelow, out on Sanchez. One second off the clock. Just enough time to turn it on, turn it back off. It's like the Bill Engle Christmas light thing. I got somebody out there plugging, unplugging. Gavin Latham's going to pick up a foul there. So now both teams at six. Things might slow down here pretty quick. And here we go. Signs with the ball. Nice move by Merrill. Merrill's going to pick it up. A little bit of an out of control pass. They're going to give it to Marinci. 3.46 left in the ball game. Marinci's going to bring the ball down as the Elks trail by one. So Wallace with the ball back up top to Sanchez. Sanchez to Matangala. Gavin Latham working on Matangala. Matangala's going to get two points. Marinci now leads by three. I look down to add a point. I'm not sure what happened, but Round Valley's inbounding. Riker Marble with the ball. Into Bigelow. Nice snack by Bigelow. Through the hands of Sanchez. Point to the right. They're trying to open up the middle. Merrill with it. Gavin Latham trying to do something with it. Long three by Merrill. It's going to be missed. Signs with the ball. Signs bringing the ball down hard as Marinci up by three, trying to extend their lead late in the fourth quarter. Three minutes left in the ball game. Moving the ball around pretty quick. Matangle up top. He's going to drive to the right side, looking to the middle. Isn't able to get it. Gavin Latham going to recover the ball. Gavin Latham from the free throw line. Unable to get it down. Recovered by Sanchez. Sanchez bringing the ball down for Marinci. He's going to get it back to a tangle of 4.43, 2.43 left of the ballgame. Timeout Marinci, I do believe. 2.38 left in the ballgame as the Marinci Wildcats now lead 42-39. a little bit of information from the chat. Thank you so much. Those are Air Jordan 1 Lowe's University Gold. I'm saying that as I look to my wife right now. I'm going to wink, wink, hint, hint. No, I have no idea. We're going to take a look. See if they've got them in my size. Thanks for joining us tonight. You've been watching Let's Go Elks coverage of the season opener for the basketball team here as the Round Valley Elks host the Marinci Wildcats. Big thanks to Rustin, Round Valley Middle School student, working the camera for us this evening up top in the, the teeny tiny little crow's nest, getting it done that way for us. 238 left in the ballgame as the Elks trail by three. I believe it's Marinci ball. Your Elks in the game right now. Brett Jordan, Riker Marble. Jordan Elmer, Holden Bigelow, and Gavin Latham. Sanchez gets the ball in bounds, hands it to Matangala. Matangala looking, trying to work things around. Elmer with some quick work there, trying to get the ball for Round Valley. It's going to be Marinci ball, 228. Pressure, pressure, a lot of pressure. Student section on their feet getting a little loud. Riker Marble with his hands up. Back to Signs. Whoa. Signs almost doing the splits on the basketball court there. Brings it back. Sanchez with it. Sanchez looking from the right side. Gets to Savalas. Savalas brings it around to Signs. Signs drives in the left side. Number 11 with it. Sanchez now looking to the middle. He's going to come in. Nobody around. He'll take two points. Sanchez for two points. 39-44, the ball game, two minutes. 
eight points for Sanchez on the night. Elmer in the ball game, looking around. Jordan wasn't ready for it. Brett Jordan didn't see the ball coming. With Tangela trying to make it a seven point ball game, successfully does so. 39 46, 140 left of the ball game. Riker Marble, he's going to drive in. Unable to finish it. Marinci with the ball. Marinci really going to start slowing things down now with a minute and a half left in the ball game as they lead by seven. Lots of slowing down happening by Marinci. 80 seconds left in the ball game now. Utangula goes up. Mutangala not so much trying to score as to draw the foul. And then when he knows he's not going to make the basket, tries to put it off of one of the Round Valley defenders. Doesn't work out this time, says the Ravs. Round Valley's ball, 72 seconds left on the clock. Lecker Marble with it. That, not a penalty. Signs picks up the ball to Mutangala. We're right at a minute, seven-point ball game. It's a three-possession ball game for the Elks right now. Traveling call. 56.7 seconds. The Elks trail by seven as Brett Jordan inbounds it to Gavin Latham. The clock is running. No time to waste now. Three possessions needed for the Elks to make this happen. A travel by Brett Jordan. 47-1 left on the clock. Is that a timeout white? Full timeout white, one minute. There's more time in the timeout than there is left in the ball game. 47-1 left in the ball game. Round Valley Elks now trailing by seven, 39-46 the score. Forty-seven point one seconds left in the ball game as the Elks trail by seven. Marinci to inbound the ball. Marinci inbounds to Matangala. Matangala hanging out behind the half court line. Take as much time as he can. They're past half court. He's aggressively heading in, back out to Savalos. Savalos to signs. Merrill's going to draw the foul. They're going to the line. One and one. 35.3 seconds left in the ball game. Elks trail by seven. Shooting one and one. Ball does not drop. Round ball trying to get the rebound. Sanchez gets it. He's fouled. Slash hug. We're going back to line one and one. 32.9 seconds. Shot does not drop. Penalty again, well not penalty, but against Round Valley. We're gonna reshoot. Shot is dropped by Sanchez. We're going to shoot the second shot. Now an eight-point ball game. Oh 
Second drop. 39 48, 32 seconds left in the ballgame. Gavin Latham bringing it down. Looks to Bigelow. Bigelow should be shooting the three. Doesn't do so. Hands off to Riker. Riker shoots the three. A little bit long with Tangela with the ball. 21 seconds left on the clock. Marinci again to play the slow game. Gavin will draw the foul. Back to the line, 8.8 .8 seconds. Tangle up to the line, 8.8 .8 seconds left in the ballgame as the Oaks trail by nine. Shot is up, it's no good. Sanchez with the rebound. No, stripped away by Merrill. Riker Marble headed down. Long, long three. That's the ballgame. From the old high school gym to finish things up, your Round Valley Elks. Foul short to the Marinci Wildcats, 39 to 48. Here in the gym, thanks for joining us. You've been watching Let's Go Elks. If you would, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Become part of the herd. Help us as we climb our way up. You guys have a good evening. Be safe. Make good choices. You've been watching Let's Go